runs out and they will not give up. Stupendous scene here at the newly named Telstra Stadium. And John Williamson now chiming in with Walsing Matilda. That's deja vu. He came onto the scene in 2000 in front of 109,000 spectators and led the whole crowd after the Aussie Bush ballot. There are the two reserve benches. Matt Rogers, Elton Flatley. Let's hope Chris Whittaker can get on at some stage. He's seen very little field time. That's uh, highly unlikely, one would imagine, as we soak up Walsing Matilda. certainly was intended as a motivational tool for the Wallabies uh, when it was introduced a few years back but the Kiwis know the words now they're probably using it as a G up as well Simon I don't think so Gordon Andre Watson most experienced referee in the world has had all the big games in recent years he'll do a good job World Cup final in 1999 he had that game here at Stadium Australia in 2000 it's the All Blacks one, 39-35. Okay. Right. He did the Super 12 final this year at Jade yeah, Stadium. I can hear you, Johnny. So there's Tana. He's back in the All Blacks oh, starting lineup, button, and he's focused on his opposite number, Matthew really Burke. Done. Two of the best defensive number 13s oh. in the international game, and Ben Tune after an electric start last week in the opening minutes. Let us low 2000, match two. Safely taken by Chris Jack, number four, inside his quarter. So much expectation with this game. Both sides have had low-key build-ups. There's been very little talking through the media by the two coaches, unlike the Springbok Aussie clash last week. But Mertens has taken play to the 10-metre line. Typically efficient start there from the Kiwis. Chris Jack straight away. Tom Wilson for the, for the jump, for the rip. And Kepu gets the ball. And look who was at scrum half. It was Gregan to Larkham. Here's Burke. And there was a big tackle on Burke, Australia. Up to the 10-metre line, that's Finnegan. Now Todd Kefu, Reuben Thorne, number six. Gregan just working it away on the short side. Umanga the tackler on Larkham. 35 metres out. The Wallabies going immediately to the line. They're not mucking around, getting straight to the advantage line and quickly. New Zealand player just kicking that ball ahead. Richie McCaw, he had no rights, he was on the ground. Penalty. You know what you did, that's negative. You're putting your, ball, your feet on the ball and you're holding it. Have to be on your feet. Richie McCaw is somebody that plays it right on the edge. He did it in Christchurch a number of times. All great back rowers do, he'll need to be careful. Andre Watson is not one to fool around. He dragged his feet back over the ball and just cradled it there, pretending as if he couldn't see it, but everyone knew tough call Buddha well there you go we've done it before usually you get told to keep your legs out of the way by somebody rucking them but these days it's left up to the referee it seems a little bit light well he had that Simon point of a look on his face who me sir but he was guilty as charged well Andre Watson did did warn him so he had that uh, chance but uh, good good start from the Australians plenty of Ball security taking it forward. Equally vigorous defence from the men in black. So Matthew Burke missed a couple of penalties at Jade Stadium in Bledisloe 1. He'd like to make amends here. 
Well, it was Andre Watson and Chris Latham who stood under the post when Mertens was kicking there. Trouble with the wind here, Chris. There is, yeah. There's a lot of it moving around, and it's a distraction for Burke. But Andre Watson was there as a touch judge, having bets with Chris Latham on whether it would snow before half time. So will Burke's radar be right with the assistance of Mortlock? A horror strike. So he was clearly distracted by these blustery conditions. And New Zealand to bring it back to the 22. Interesting in Christchurch, Andrew Mertens wasn't really phased by those extremely blustery conditions there. So that's a warning for the Australians. So Kefu gets a nasty bounce and the wind takes that one away. Well, it was a good kick from the restart. The Australians didn't take it on the full and they paid the penalty. Fortuitous, that one. Great opportunity here. Hold the gap, Black. Kicked directly into touch by the All Blacks and a saving grace. Right, fine. The Wallabies do get the ball back. Todai Kefu won the first line out. Larkin was at scrum half. This time Kefu goes into that position. Hold it up, Black. Big drive. Keep it up, Black. They've taken it 10 metres. Now he's on the ball. That's what Controlled at the back here by the Use Wallabies. Up. Referee Hands wants up, it out. Black. Hands off. That's your one. Chris Latham on his left foot here. And he's taken play to within a, a metre or so of the halfway line. Chris Latham, who left New South Wales in 1997 to join the Reds after being brought to Sydney by the Ramwick Club from Narrabri. Well, Tom Willis in for Mark Hammett the last 24 hours. Hammett ruled out with a knee injury. Good young player, Willis, uh, but will Check the occasion the be the too numbers. much for him? Check Had a numbers. couple of captains' replacement. Advantage black. Advantage. Referee playing advantage here. This is major. And the all-black forwards arrive. With their trademark drive from in behind. Hands off, hands off, advantage. Marshall again. Australia interfering on the ground. That was Noriega. That was stupid play there. Don't do that, number one, but the penalty is for this. Well, Noriega's played on afterwards. He, uh, he found something quite Number one. troubling him that, that last ruck. None of that. I think he called out Number the wrong three, player. I think it, it might have been uh, Patricio yeah. Noriega. Yeah. And he's Shot. given uh, Bill Young a, a warning on the run. Well, Noriega was off his feet. He had no right to play the ball. And now it's Andrew Merton's chance to okay. reply. And this is a more favourable position, Simon. Well, Noriega... Uh, okay really still smarting after Christchurch copped a real bad headbutt from Scott Robertson if the TJ talked to him wasn't picked yeah, up yeah, almost right, knocked him it. out yeah he said he, he said huge okay yeah. well he must have found a karma tunnel here or channel in the middle of the field he's not wasting any time he's got the distance and he's pushed it out to the right so the two champion goal kickers the two preeminent goal kickers in international rugby yes. at the highest level over the last seven years missing with their first attempts Johnny just check out that's evidence one. The of this over 15 and they blustery can go, right? wind here at ground okay. level it's really swirling around that one holding up in the breeze so New Zealand favoured by this southerly coming in from the southwest. that was Robertson man of the match against the Springboks in Wellington two weeks ago a nice little step from Major off his right foot. Jeremy Paul in for the tackle. That's Willis. Smith brings him down. Mertens goes wide to Amunga. He's Cullen. Loose pass to Ralph. Tune. On your feet, everybody. On your feet. That's all right. Australia clean out. Kefu did well. They've spoiled New Zealand's ball. That's fine. Well, Callum Ralph did uh, very well. Ben Tune brought him down. Popped the ball back. A very good surge from the Wallaby forward sport the, the opportunity. Shocking pass to Ralph out wide, a bit of a, like throwing a case of fruit, Tana Umanga, but he follows him and tries to cover up and gets driven off it by the Wallabies. Little points decision there for the Wallabies at the breakdown. Here's Jack. Again, for another drive straight through the heart of the Wallaby Mall. They brought it right to the back and got it under control. 
So this is traditional all-black play. The hallmark of all of their halcyon eras. They've tried to add this driving ball back to their play and have got an advantage. A drop goal attempt by Marshall. There was some offside play. Don't take the legs. It's dangerous play. And some dangerous play Let there by the one of the Australians. Yes. Taking the, the legs out from one of the New Zealanders in the mall. So this is another Number shot three. coming up here for Andrew Mertens. It's nil all here at Telstra Stadium. Okay. Now you can anytime you're ready. Okay. There was Chris Jack, the player who has been hoist up there by Noriega. Hence the drop kick by Marshall. Just taking the opportunity. He knew he had the uh, penalty to back him up. Okay. So Chris Handy, just a couple of indiscretions right. by the Wallabies. And a second opportunity here for Andrew Mertens. Your comments after the kick. That's well wide. He was looking for the wind. And the mark taken by Sharp. Sterling Morflock with a horrible looking kick. They wanted to play on quickly. And uh, New Zealand now with an attacking line-out. That'll be one he wants to forget. He got the pass from the oh, former up, Wagga Wagga boy. Get in, in there, Nathan He's in the Sharp. And I know everyone out there in Wagga Wagga, especially Nathan Gordon Hackett, will be watching and all his mates. Well, Dan the Herbert was cap. in front of Mortlock there, blocking his path. The All Blacks weren't back to 10 metres, and they made a horrible mess of it, Australia. So there's Jack again. Okay. Reuben Thorne sets it up. The driving ball's been very effective. Nice Australia can, committing a few more numbers here. And they've You're driven it the sideways, which is the way to counteract it. Have they stolen it? No. Mertens, Umanga, Mertens on the loop. His trouble. Ruff! Cullen into touch. Tremendous cover there from the Aussie backs. It was excellent defence. Really, the All Blacks had the numbers, but they can continue to push their defence across the Australians. Cullen taps it across to Caleb Ralph. He is evasive. Chris Latham, beautiful tackle. And then Matthew Burke across the big one. Australia gets the line out here. Can they relieve the pressure? Here's Chris Latham going for a run. Not a wise decision. That's the goal line. And now Larkham. No touch. Ralph. Yeah to counter-attack, Cullen, forward pass, they all missed it, but the referee, I think, was not in a great position there, the crowd went up as it was thrown, the Australians aren't standing back and waiting for the whistle, they kept on going, and now they forced the All Blacks to go to plan B, so it's just outside the quarter, no score, and ten and a half gone, great defense, pass, Andrew Mertens, defence in close is, Lush Very lush rigorous and testing from the Aussies. Now he's Ralph getting a half Run gap. Away, Cole. Run away, Cole. That's fine. Ball was up. Mailing. Almost to the quarter line. Thorne, Marshall. Australian defence stretched Cole. again. A couple That's of the Aussie fine. forwards slow to get back here. And New Zealand's. Yeah. 15 and 2. Losing the ball. 15 and 2. Let it go, please. Tom Willis, the man penalised right. there. And also number 15 number was called. Oh, it's a pressure four cooker goals. and they've held it. Get out of the way there. The defence held in there. Don't, All don't blacks probing everywhere. The they don't appear Just terribly organised in attack, though, Simon. They're running individually, just yeah, feeling their way. Like, uh, they only seem composed when they've got that driving ball going. I think that disorganisation is coming from some very, very good defence pushing through the man. A couple of occasions, Merton's looked to uh, throw the pass and he's been forced to go to a man out of position. They cleaned out well, the All Blacks retained possession through Richie McCaw. The Wallabies just kept at it. There's Smith at the back. He's made 10 and a huge palm off there on Reuben Thorne. So the Wallabies into New Zealand's half. It's been mainly in Australia's territory so far. Herbert! It was a flat pass. Noriega. 
little tick and rumble. On your feet when you Larkham, get there, guys. they're running straight here. Tune knocked on. It was a half volley Play for him. Play he said it, went said it went straight down. Interesting call. Wallabies will take it. Finnegan, Gregan. Now Kefu. Hammered there by Hewitt. No ruck forms. Well, Torai Kefu. Give him a, a medal. Hit. He had five All Blacks on him. He kept the ball. No penalty. Good position here for the Wallaby attack. Well, they kept going to the line, the Wallabies, and that's the key to it. Always got to put pressure on the defence. Hold it. Kefu fell heavily on his knee. Now it comes to scrum time. First of the game. A slight weight advantage, Chris, for the Australian eight. We're 15 minutes in nearly. And the first opportunity to come head to head for Tom Willis. There he is in the middle of Greg Somerville and Dave Hewitt. Well, the Australians have absorbed all the pressure from New Zealand in that opening 10 minutes. And now they've put themselves into a, a position at the other end of the field the to strike. Got you to hold. Engage. Right, Peter, thanks. Peter, thank you. Noriega, packing square on, standing his ground. Latham, first receiver. Ran straight into Mertens. They struggled to put him to ground. Drawn a couple of defenders, but McCaw lost the has pinched it. Now it was Tana Umanga who got the ball to McCaw. There's Jack, he lost it. Australia down on it for Kefu. Gregan now and Larkin. So two turnovers, one for either side, and that pass was forward. Well, the, uh, the previous pass from Steve Larkin to Herbert looked a little bit forward, and this time Andre Watson picks him up. Watch up. Jeremy Let's go. Paul. Let's go. This is an arm wrestle. Each side looking for the slightest advantage. Cribbing right on the advantage line. And that time the Wallabies overrunning. Come on, boys. Let's get in here. I see that. He's got attention. Let's go. Simon mailing injured, so they've had to put a back row into the second row. Andre Watson wants to play on. Now it's McCaw who's injured. It's encouraging sign to play on. Amazing how it gets players back to their feet quickly. Hey. We're having a lot of collapsed That's scrums. Come on. Somerville's blaming his uh, studs. We've only had two scrums, but they've gone down. They need to really concentrate. There, that ball sitting. Good rugby league feed there by Justin Marshall. 30 metres out. So the All Blacks wanting to get it out of here. Mertens is calling for it. Making sure he was inside his 22. Deliberately didn't kick that one out. Counters on for Tune here. Hammered by Hewitt. Eight metres into New Zealand's territory. Larkham. Little banana kick towards the touchline. Cullen was waiting. The 26-year-old. And what's said about that one, the better. Well, that's a result for the Australians. Now they have to get the good line-out balls. All Blacks competing hard at that uh, phase of play. They haven't been in New Zealand's 22 much. It's been played in the centre of the field. Now the all-important line-out must be good. Kefu again at the front. Surprise tactic from Australia. Here's Herbert. Wrapped up in midfield by Mertens initially. No Hewitt. hands now, Black. Now lending some support. Finnegan. They're trying okay. to ram it in on the fringe of the ruck. Larkham. Found the break. Two missed tackles by New Zealand. This is Sharp, the big fellow. 15 metres out. Kefu. Mortlock. Kefu again. Seven metres to go for the Wallabies here. Larkham is a good line. Paul. Marshall came up for the tackle. They're still going left in a loose pass. He's been tuned. He beat two weak tackles, a third. Australia can go again here. Larkham. Sharp is with him. The big throw. First test tie. He almost got one last week against the Springboks. He put his foot into touch. But this one close to the sticks. A uh, super try from the men in goal. Nathan Sharp, no better player to have that close to the line. But Ben Chun, he provides the opportunity. The help call hammer went out and he hammered it upfield. Justin Marshall gets it. But then George Gregg in the vision. And Larkham, who's having a fantastic game, provides the ball. The big ball for Nathan Sharp.
Great young player, Nathan Sharp, is proving to be from broken play, he ran the superb support line. Oba! His first love was Aussie rules. The same as Justin Harrison. But when he made his test debut this year, he said, I've been waiting for this moment the whole of my life. So, Burke, can he give Australia a 7-0 lead? And again, a, a bad miss there by Matthew Burke. 5-0, Wallabies. That's a rare sort of miss for Matthew Burke. Normally do that with his eyes closed. The All Blacks applying all the pressure this game, but it is the Wallabies now in front, 4-0. Restart then from Andrew Mertens. He's the try scorer, Sharp. Hasn't he stepped up? No, nah, boy. In the shoes of never John Eels. Keller Brough lets that one bounce twice and almost got into all sorts of bother. now. Wallabies Another were there in numbers. All Black slow to get back. This is Major. Rebounding off Burke, who regathers. Yeah, that's gone. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. Last feet. Last feet there. That was a bad kick by Major. Here's Kefu. Wallaby's playing with a lot of confidence. Roll away, Black. Gregan comes in. Larkham. And Latham. Smashing into Umunga. Just a drive. Just a drive. Players coming in on the side of the ruck there. Last feet. Had to come in behind the last feet. Finnegan again. Asking questions of this all-black defence in close. Having great effect on the edges of the ruck. Owen Finnegan and Kefu. Get off your feet, well, that's Let's obviously go, been a target area so far, and they've made some ground. He's like him now. He created the angle for Sharp. Close to the touchline. Twine's placed it. Straight down, no knock no on. No knock on. Play Turnover. Sharp. Smith. One of his needed out wide. Harrison drives in from behind. Last feet, Latham now looming on the right. Stay. Burke's out here, so is Herbert. Wasn't. Herbert now. Richie McCaw, but he made seven or eight play, play, metres. Play, 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 Good play momentum it. from him. Get off it. Get off it. Don't kill Wallabies it. Wallabies didn't protect Don't kill your feet. Get off the it. ball carrier there. In there in the middle. Good defence from Richie McCaw. Jack Big Ohlone, man, Daniel Herbert, down, brought him on. down. Happy there. Herbert accused not clearing the ball away from him. They're really asking the question of the all-black defence. Richie McCaw sticks to Daniel Herbert. He puts the ball back behind him, but somehow it gets trapped in the middle. He's been tuned. All Blacks, Cardinals him not getting their touch from the penalty. A twine ball was out. Richie McCaw spoiled, and he's back in possession way, for his side. He's Mertens. Not a good kick. Chance for Latham. Spotting no winger back here. Marshall's there first. And now Cullen. And that's a steady up. But he's only made it to the 22. Another attacking line out for the home team. Very few turnovers from the Wallabies. Quite different to how they were in Christchurch. Though they haven't the flashiness of the test against the box at the Gabba. It's been a very consistent performance. Lost line out ball there. Yeah, yeah, Loose throw from Paul. Roller, get out of there, number eight. Get out of there. Now Mertens. Go up. Spiring right, that's that's that one good. beautifully over the touchline. And the heat off just for the moment for the New Zealand team, who've been Jeremy, under heavy pressure. Jeremy Paul looked to uh, Mark Lawrence, and I don't know why it was a poor throw. He couldn't uh, really... The Blame Black. the All Blacks for coming across. It just went the wrong direction. Well, Australia's been successful at the front, and that's where they're going again. Justin Harrison that time. He's Paul up the short side. Numbers, fellas. Well, it was worth a go, and they did have the advantage. Just do a count of the line-out, check the numbers. Must so, mark up in the line-out. So Australia was throwing the ball into the line-out, and New Zealand had one more man. The team throwing the ball in dictates the numbers feet, in the line-out. Feet, feet, feet. Ball's out, ball's out. So New Zealand spoiling a lot on the fringes. Australia not protecting their possession. And here they go, Cullen. With a great burst. Ralph outside. Latham across. 
and Green in there to help. This opportunity came from a very good tackle by Scott Robinson on Toto Kefu. Forced him back, gave the ball to the All Blacks. They the are the sensing guys. an opportunity wide Kingsley. tonight, but the Australian defence has held up. And you saw Come how on, hard Christian out. Cullen hit the line. That told you there was an opportunity. Lost ahead there by the Australians. Sharp calling for some interference when he was up. Airborne. Referee has nothing of it. Two line-out losses to the Wallabies. It was them who were doing that to New Zealand in Christchurch. Have a look at the top of the jump. And his hand was knocked away, but I think the ball had... Okay. He'd reached through between the two arms of Nathan Sharp. Knocked that ball down. Jeremy pulled out for some attention oh, no. here. With a knock on the back of his neck. The hooker down the game has to stop at this stage yeah, if they can't take the scrum. The so it's Australia in the lead the by gap. five points to nil. Nathan Sharp, the try scorer. Yeah, it's Robinson and McCaw. And there's Mitchell, the coach, leading the charge out there don't on the it. tackling front for the yeah, All Blacks. It. But they're all having a go. Very effective. Still don't do it. OK. Just go straight. So Jeremy Nick, Paul still happy? in the hands of the Australian doctor. Okay. Yeah. You want it closer? <laughs> Come closer, fellas. Crouch and hold. Eight or nine Go. metres out from the Wallaby goal line. This is New Zealand's chance to hit back. Robertson, Smith underneath. Umanga getting close to the action. That's Ralph from the left wing. Marshall now, steady build up here. McCaw. Marshall, Mertens looking for a, an opening on the left. This is Ralph. He ran into Tune, who comes again. No, no, last feet. Stay there. Marshall again to Mertens. Through the dummy, but couldn't offload. The Australians will try to hold him up. How much longer can they hold on here? It's fine. Cullen driven back by Matthew yeah, Burke. He's and he's pinched it. He's Dackler. Turn Wallabies out of jail. What a kick from Larkin. The All Blacks back on their heels. What a fantastic contest. They're throwing everything at it, the All Blacks. The defence up to it. There's no one shirking. They're carting it to the line. They're putting in the tackle. They're moving forward when they're not in possession. And that tackle really turned over. And they're Matthew, going, Matthew Burke standing over the ball, able to play the ball. One man, no ruck. So very difficult for the line-out throwers. Let's see how Tom Willis goes here. Up the back they go. Nasty bounce. Willis. Almost untouched. Unbelievable. Advantage. Lost ahead, though, in a jarring tackle. Lost forward. I think Todd Kipu was across there. Tom Willis, he just can't believe he even got through that gap, looked around and just put the foot down. That'll give the young player a lot of uh, confidence. But he got slammed in a Come tackle on, finally from the side by Steve Larkin. But it's a, uh, a fault that he got through. Greg and also underneath. Let's go. Fine. He was sandwiched there, the New Zealand hooker. And Latham. Really see his right boot, but his left one does the job. 10 from halfway, Australia still with the only score in the game, a try to Nathan Sharp. John Mitchell, All Black mentor, unbeaten now as All Black coach in nine test matches. Check your numbers, you've counted, so go. His counterpart with a furrowed brow, Eddie this Jones. This is where the Wallabies have got to put the pressure on. Mailing and Jack ten, are doing well in the All Black line-out. Jack is there. He manoeuvred well. Umanga. Number two. Time out, please. So what's happening here? Let's listen to the referee. Okay, your, first, your first time it was, I, was, I told you that the yeah, defeat yeah. said your foot was in. Was in again. This is your last go. Now this All goes right? back to the you try. You can do it again. 
that New Zealand it. scored against South Africa line. at the front of the lineout. Do it again, Hammett fella. scored the try. He threw the ball in from inside the touchline. He was probably 30 centimetres inside the touchline, getting an unfair advantage. And this will put Tom, Tom Willis off a little bit, trying to concentrate and make sure that he doesn't step into the touch before, he, into the field of play before he lets the ball go. Certainly didn't look to be too straight. Kefu there. Oh, he's got a black. <laughs> Kefu got his eight. fingers on that one. I think there's every reason to think that that may not have been straight in the line-out. And the advantage probably should be with the Wallabies. OK, guys, thanks. Let's grow something. With Andre Watson looking right down the middle. Crouch in a hole. And go. Straight up now. So Marshall just on Australia's side of halfway. Mertens. Major. Smith underneath. Getting through a mountain of work, the number seven for the men in gold. Loose pass there. Umanga on halfway. Marshall has a look. Move back. Push back. Push back. Five. The core. Play on. Kick charge down. Burks there again. Australia back in possession. Go no, no, back. Go back. All Blacks coming round offside. Good referee. Regan. Later. Tunes there with him. Regan again to Jeremy Paul. Didn't he do well to be there, the hooker? Go Black. George Gregan taken out the there by out. Major. You're right. But don't play him without the ball. Okay. Gregan didn't play him the ball. without the ball. Good refereeing. This, the ball listen. was out. You could have gone fine. He's saying go for the ball if it's out. He was right. But the don't ball's go out. for the player. He plays the man without the ball. He takes number nine. If you haven't back. picked it up. There it is. It's available. Gregan hasn't touched it. He plays the man. He should have gone for the ball. No. Well, with Make respect there, Major Make wasn't bound on the side of that pile-up. So... I think he was lucky he wasn't penalised initially for that offence. Going to touch. Not going to back Matthew Burke with this swirling wind. So but now comes down to Jeremy Paul and the line-out jumpers for the men in gold to secure good possession. Still me some? They're getting good ball at the front, but will they go there? The move would probably be towards the back to give them a, to open up a blind side. That's fine. Larkin. Not showing Gregan skills there, but what about the kick? He has threaded the needle. And what about Totei Kefu's jumping? I think that's number three for him tonight. Beautiful two-handed ball down. And his sister's a, a great netballer. Maybe those jumping skills are in the family. Fourth line-out win for Kefu. And that's Simon that's Mailing that's with a good two-handed take. But New Zealand can't on their goal line get at out the of moment. It, six. Get out of it. Just get out of it. Make an act. Make an attempt. Just go. Good man management here from Andre Watson. Hands off, hey. Marshall. Here comes Tune. A little ambitious there, Ben Tune. He did his best, but he's coughed it up for New Zealand. Over. Umanga, Burke Reddits, missed the tackle though. Umanga beat four. McCaw, no, I'm Smith around him. Marshall on halfway. Run away, run away off it. Nathan Sharp in for the tackle. And Mertens. Fairly aimless kick that one. Here's Latham with a chance to counter. Christian Cullen gets a horrid bounce. And the question is, did uh, Christian Cullen's foot touch that ball? We'll see. Touch judge says no. OK. Thank you. They just don't seem to have all the options available. The All Blacks in attack. Six goals. Mertens is having Open. to go for the chip. Swirling wind. It's not being well directed. Six it's a goals. pretty poor option. Just hold him, hold him, Johnny. Need to retain possession and keep plunging hold at on. the Wallaby defensive line. When you tackle, use arms, please. In here. Just, just use your arms, please. Australian defence has been outstanding. And it's been pinched. But Chris Jack is there for the crumbs. Oh, Chris Jack's having a big game for the Blacks. No one at half back there for Australia. Very loose pass from Marshall. Tune needs to take this on the full. Here's Latham. Tune. Play on. Great one-handed pass from Latham. Play on. No knock on from Herbert. Here's Nathan Sharp. 
Having a pick, Nick Smith. Inside the corner. He's won it on his feet. Sterling Mortlock there for Larkham. Here it is to Herbert. Almost number two to the Wallabies. Again, desperation from Cullen. The tackler on the ground interfered with the ball as Herbert was about to play it. He was off his feet. They're lucky the ball blacks not to be penalised. What an exhilarating phase of play. Nathan Sharp playing like a back rower. Fantastic no, 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 no. pass. Great. Well, Nathan, Nathan to Tune. Great options from Tune. He's really going to the line and asking the question. Herbert, and watch this. Cullen then plays it. The ball off his feet. Taken by Sharp. Australia so close to their second try here. They've controlled it for Gregan and three. Interference against Noriega. Or was it a, a fortunate? It's cost Australia a try. He's holding the guys off the ball. They need to defend that line. That's why how you score the try. Third time I'm penalising him. If I see him again, he's in trouble. Tell him. Trusty. Sorry guys. He's saying he's holding players on the edge of the ruck so that they can't get off to defend. I don't know that that's right. Penalty. Ball. So he's not seeing him in there, he's not holding he's anyone. He's not holding anyone. It's a bad call by the referee. In fact, Noriega's foot was spread eagle. He was entitled to be on who he was on. He wasn't obstructing anyone. And he's entitled to put his hand on Rich McCaw on know, the ground. McCaw's not going to do anything from there. Have Mate. a look. He's not holding any of the uh, at the defending players or even impeding them. Now the Australians have to keep their cool. They've lost an opportunity, but they're still on 25. They've gone for the short line out. Well, the only thing you could say in Andre's defence there, perhaps the incident occurred earlier on, but... I didn't go five. Otherwise, but I got uh, five. The it difficulty out of Grimm's fairy tales. The difficulty now is he's put Noriega on three I'm warnings saying, and it may well be a yellow card a for repeated run, infringement. And that's a difficulty. Well, he had a look at the replay on the big screen as play went on. Run away, and uh, he looked a little red-faced. He's four. On your feet. Five for the penalties to Australia. Larkham, Herbert. He's been a big handful. Jack the tackler. Wallaby's cleaning out very well here. How long? Yes. How long are you going to hold on? Well, that's outstanding work. I think McCall was in there. Inside. So good at that breakdown. Turnover. Well, the second occasion that you know Daniel Herbert, who is making back. very big ground in the All Blacks, has been pinged by the referee. I think you the first time on fairly, goal. second time, no problems. You've got to be able to release as well. And it doesn't help the Wallabies to hold on to it. Herbert there with it pinned on his chest. Big Chris Jack. Oh, the tackler underneath must release the ball carrier to allow him to play the ball. Well, he had no way of releasing that because he was in a bear hug from the tackler. He's mailing. Jack. Last feet, gold, last feet. Wallabies hold, have really hold, dominated this. Hold, ball's out. First half hour of play. Could easily have had uh, quite a few more points on the board. This is Mortlock. Hasn't seen a lot of action. Outstanding play performance play from the Wallaby off. forwards. Larkham into Jack. Taking on a man nearly twice his size. Number two, straight through from the side and on your feet. And the penalty's going against the Wallabies here, play allowing on, New Zealand to get back. some momentum. Marshall to McCaw. Oh, Knocked on by Robertson. And what a pass off the ground there by Smith. His book and Chew. Chew take it late. Number, the try's on. Burke is there. So advantage. is Regan. Advantage goal. Sure. The referee advantage. playing advantage. Smith. Kepu's with him. Somehow Smith got the pass away. All Blacks in heaps of bother here. Knock on. But he's Number pulling four. it back for the offence. Well, Chris Jack will have to speak to the referee here. That touch adds Mark Lawrence has got his out, flag up. It's a high late tackle. It's all there. Just to confirm, number four black. Thank you. Tackle. My call, I just wanted the number. Yeah. I was late. Yeah. I think you're lucky too. I think it was dangerous as well. Deadly. Pull your head in. Is this where it bounced? Pull your head in, says Andre. Is this where the light is? Okay, penalty here. 
Marginally penalty out. Penalty there. Tackle could have been avoided. Reckon, yeah? Now that decision for George Gregan. And also high. Beautifully timed. It wasn't dangerous. It Even was up around the shoulder. Listen, but listen, that's listen. the way you slow things down. You take that player who's listen. nearest the ball out. Even if it bounces. Okay, a shot head. for goal. It's coming up here for Matthew Burke with the Wallabies ahead by 5 to 0. Time on. Well, Chris Jack is having a huge game for the All Blacks. He's everywhere. He's damaging goal players all over the field. So the Wallabies playing with tremendous intensity so far. We're closing on half time. They haven't played out 80 minutes in any test match this year. 40 probably at best. And there's the Axer angle. Burke has got all of his kicks from this spot so far in the Bundaberg Rum Rugby Series. He likes the spot. And Australia out by eight points in front of 80,000. Well, four minutes 20 on the clock in this first half. Right decision to go for the three points. Matthew Burke has delivered. Always. We've seen no cohesion from the New Zealand backs. They've struggled in the face of this fierce Aussie defence, and Sharp has had a blinder. Here's Kefu running it to the fringe. That's no, fine, it's fine. It's Regan needing quick ball feet. here. No hand, seven, advantage, seven going over. Penalty advantage. George Smith penalised here. Chance for New Zealand to come back. Merton's playing for the advantage. Run away, run away. They should get the penalty. Number seven, no advantage. Number seven, off his feet, slowing the ball down. New Zealand doing a lot of uh, Number seven. obstructive work at the breakdown, you which know. is spoiling Australia and causing frustration. I think given how hard these defenders are coming First in, Nathan Sharp run and pass the ball. Hand. He's a very good ball runner. Should take one, the ball one. forward, take the defence, set it up. So really, Chris, you, you'd say yes. that New Zealand's marks, yeah? excellent work at the breakdown has, yeah, has kept them yeah. as close as this to yeah, Australia at the yeah. moment. But we'll look at the angle. And uh, Richie oh, McCaw has been working brilliantly in that regard. And uh, Andrew Mertens, you'd say in normal still conditions, would kick this one with his eyes closed. I'd love to see his success rate from this spot. And he doesn't miss too many. But these are difficult conditions. He rushed his first attempt, missed his second, third time proves it. So back to a five point deficit for the All Blacks. Thank you. And considering Australia's dominance of this first half, New Zealand, I'm sure, would be pleased with only being behind five points. Well, this is the crucial part of the game, Simon, this last couple of minutes before half time and then after the restart. Eddie Jones insisting that they continue their onslaught and don't ease off. And look at that, reasonably even, even just favouring the Wallabies in both territory and possession. Yeah, pretty well 60-40 uh, territory-wise for the Australians. Uh, they played uh, most of this no first half now. down let's in go, New Zealand's go, hand seven, that's a rock. territory. Merton's kick coming off the side of his boot straight to Latham. Inviting him to run it back, he does. Now McCaw's there. Larkham, overlap here. Marshall the tackler. Tackle only. This is Harrison. Advantage Kefu back. went without it. Just pushing the pass there. New Zealand back in possession. Get away there, gold now, roll away. Advantage over. He's major. Calabrell cleans out. Stephen Larkham. Marshall plays on quickly. Somerville. They need to get some momentum, New Zealand. They've done it here. Here's McCaw. Sharp in. Slipped it away to Jack. Over halfway. Sharp in for another tackle. About how it's first touch of the ball. Gregan was waiting for him. Here's Robertson on the angle. Paul, the tackler. 10-metre line, Aussie territory. Mertens. Umanga. 
Aaron, he Aaron, went without it. Aaron Major is still down in back play. There's numbers for the Wallabies. Finnegan, great the work from Mortlock. Now, Chris Latham. <laughs> Sensational pa pass from Finnegan, but that ball just spilled forward Knock from Chris goal. Latham, who's also Get having ball. a magical game for the Wallabies. Saying that uh, Latham lost that ball forward. Let's go, let's go, fellas. I don't agree, but it was good let's work go. and good composure. Have a good look the reverse time, angle will show it. Latham with the ball takes on the line, beats the prop, and then that ball put backwards but rolls forward. I don't know. Here's Mertens. And Howlett coming in from the right wing. Marshall, half time Hooter is gone. Larkham's down in back play. Cullen probing with Major. No support. Okay, nice feet. Australian defence has That's held fine. firm. The cover has also been excellent out wide. Stephen Larkin's copped a good whack in the head. That pass to no one. And he kicked the referee. Well, that That's should be half time. Scrum down, let's go. Yeah. He can't do anything so, the at the break, the just game. five yeah. points separating these two great sides. It's Australia oh, leading the All Blacks by eight to three. He incidentally had a barbecue at Justin Marshall's place after the Jade Stadium test match. That doesn't make sense. It was like the South Pole there. How could you have a barbecue? They were well rugged up. Well, we went for a swim in Christchurch Harbour the day after and yeah. tried to do the Michael Diamond with the... Uh, you're on time. We're not so going. with the clay pigeon shooting off the back of the boat. But you're a lunatic. But that's the day after. Now and there's Justin Marshall. Ready gold. His first Last purchase ready. when rugby went professional was a state-of-the-art barbecue. Second half is underway. And Finnegan makes a mistake. The All Blacks have okay. really absorbed a lot of wallaby pressure in that first half. I thought it was legs. Australia has been guilty of twice as many turnovers as the All Blacks and uh, that's a sloppy start New Zealand only need victory or a draw here to re regain the Bledisloe Cup well no one Finnegan didn't realize he was going to catch that ball he did the right thing he went to his knees but then he tried to catch the ball and spilled it forward this is a, uh, a very dangerous attacking opportunity for the All Blacks see the way Justin Marshall holds the ball to give it the maximum bounce towards the All Blacks. Marshall went the short side and the option was not a good one. Bill Young talking to Andre Watson about Thank the you. scrum. It was Robertson in fact. Hold the gap. Well Scott Robertson had a uh, very influential game and was man of the match against the Springboks in New Zealand. Quieter tonight. Finnegan got the ball. And sharp now. That's Harrison. Regan goes in. Noriega at fly half. Feet, he wasn't expecting that one. Now it goes to Larkham. Tune was cut out. Great hands from Latham. Feet, 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 go. Mortlock into scrum half. Nathan Sharp taken by Hewitt. 11 Stay from up. halfway. That's a drive, it's fine. Wallaby's putting some phases together here. Larkham and Mortlock. Tom Willis. The call was to take him out, but he was too strong. So that was a, a lazy sort of kick from Australia to give the ball back to New Zealand. Now they have an overlap here on the right. Here's Cullen. Cullen with Herbert. Classic tackle. Mertens and Umbunga. Passed it straight to Harrison. He must have called for it. Super tackle, Daniel Last Herbert on Cullen. Wallabies are going very low in defence out wide tonight. And it's been really effective. June, Herbert, Burke. <laughs> well, they really need to, to focus up here. This is the critical period after half time. New Zealand score can change the complexion of the match. We saw in Christchurch the All Blacks were all but gone at half time. And they just the muscled ball. up a bit defensively in the oh, second line half. Line and it pulled their effort together. They were huddled just before the uh, halftime whistle was blown. Just plotting the way that they will get out of this hole. If that among a pass had, had found a, a teammate, New Zealand probably would have scored. Marshall at fly half. They come up with their own variation. And Australia held off. 
Marshall's been allowed Another to run about three. 20 metres. And he's lost Final. it. All black player was offside. Not behind the last feet. Noriega. Lost it forward, fellas. All over. Justin Marshall, strong man. Got the ball loose. Knocked forward. A good effort by Noriega tonight. He hasn't backed off when the referee has called him for a couple of infringements. He's kept at it. Well, Umanga was well offside there. The referee missed it. He's coming just short of halfway. Latham underneath. The two fullbacks in front. Let it go! Advantage! Holding on! Advantage black! And he's Penalty. got Chris Latham here for not releasing. Another advantage. Robertson stands in the tackle now for Howlett. Still on advantage for Black. Taken there by Harrison. No, no, ball's not out. Last feet. Last feet, fellas. Play on. This Still is McCaw. Advantage. So New Zealand have a, a penalty kick in the offing. The referee playing advantage. Marshall goes for a drop goal. OK, that's fine. But uh, Merton's with an opportunity to close it to just two points. Well, this is lazy play by the Wallabies. They've number allowed 15. this situation Rock to release. evolve because release they haven't been very goal. positive. And they'll need to Stop be yet. careful. They close this gap and the, all of a sudden the All Blacks will start to feel they Stop can get back. So it's 8-3 Australia and the Wallabies playing New Zealand back into this game. Well, Eddie Jones aims to be very proactive in the way they attack any game of rugby out there. The Australians, the first half, were very proactive. Well, as they did in Christchurch, they are kicking the ball to Latham and then trying to isolate him and force a turnover. Here's Andrew Mertens. He's on song with his last two. And a lot of that good work in the first half by the Wallabies undone as New Zealand trails by just two. Number one call from the Wallabies from here is discipline. New Zealand have received nine penalties to four for the Australians. New Zealand very, very good. The Australians starting to wonder. Well, it is, has been not the turnover that's been their problem, but the amount of penalties given away conceded. Is Marshall and that kick midway between the 22 and halfway line Justin Marshall's wife Nicole gave birth to Lachlan Burgess their first child last Saturday it was slightly overdue but beautifully timed just the ball hold the gap left. Harrison up to the two in the line out Finnegan sitting behind him Kef is standing out Harrison did well he's more block Hungry to get into a bit of space. Fall on the charge, well read by the defence. Wallabies Go need ahead. to retain possession here and build some momentum. And they need to regain it here. Herbert. Cullen couldn't pick it up. No, Ball went backwards. No advantage. Hands. Marshall plays on. At Somerville, Feet left. outside it's the quarter. Robertson beat a weak tackle there. On. Promising work here by the New Zealand drive, forwards drive. as Somerville goes to ground. Major, this is Cullen out wide. And Chris Latham. Well, a lovely result for Christian Cullen. From one end of the field to the other, Marshall's play on, which looked like it might be a bit uh, a bit rash initially, produces a wonderful kick downfield, and Latham, thinking he was going to pick it up, allows it to roll into touch. Wallaby's put in, but they're under pressure. Yeah. Wallaby's going for the three-man line out. Harrison. And McCaw scores! It was a throw over the back that missed the man, and New Zealand in front for the first time. Well, this is the sucker play. You just got to make sure that Richie McCaw was onside initially. 
And if it clears the back of the line out, he is able to come forward and take it. Look, the ball goes, he hangs in the air. McCaw's out on the end. He comes in, takes it, and plunges over. Well, that ball definitely was going to Harrison. Overshot the runway. McCaw, alert, fast try. No margin for error there. And self-destruction by the Wallabies. So it's New Zealand who come out firing in this second half. And Mertens trying to ram home the advantage, but pushing it just wide. Well, again, this try, the only reason this try has been scored is because of the Wallaby lack of discipline as Jonah Lomu, bitterly disappointed not being in the squad for this game, sits on the sideline. But it was the penalty back the 10 metre, of 10 metres out from the uh, All Black try line. Which yeah. gave him the opportunity. Rock, hands, hands. All of these need to get down. serious and keep the ball in hand. They've had a lot of success running at the New Zealand defence. They must not lose composure now. Well, they have been rattled also by some of these interpretations from Andre Watson. They've got to rise above that. What's the drive? It's fine. Here's Latham. Again, happy to kick straight to him. Kefu now, look at this line of black jumpers across the field. That's fine. It's not this is where they'll try and force a turnover. Renewed enthusiasm in this all-black defence. Kefu had the strength to get to ground, but Marshall can see it. So that's the tactic. Let Australia run it back from the kick and force the turnover. And there's no fullback here. Here's Howlett. No one in front. Dougie Howlett. Mortlock was there. Howlett has to release. And Somerville, lying all over it there, gave the penalty away. Whoa, dramatic stuff there. Sensational oh, kick. How it got it. The Australians outsmarted him. Great kick from Nathan, uh, from Aaron Major. He knew exactly what was going on. He's a great fly half. He's an even better inside centre. He dropped the ball on a sixpence on that 22 mark. How it then pressured. Gregan and Mortlock did so well. And it was then that Howlett was penalised for not releasing. Well, Howlett was isolated there. Gregan on his feet Sorry? to pull for that ball. Somerville then came in okay. and left Time his out. feet. Hold him, hold him. The Wallabies need to take the momentum away from the All Blacks here now. Otherwise, oh, yeah. it could be costly. We've got, black, we, we got Black Yard, Black Seven. Let's get someone on in this place. Well, Richie well, McCaw will Seven's leave the gone. field and yeah. Sam Broomhall. Or yep. Marty Holler will probably uh, come Blood. on, probably Holler. Well, Richie McCaw has a very good replacement yeah, boys, here in Marty blood. Holler, the 25 year old who plays with the Chiefs. He's a graduate in leisure studies. He's just overcome a Wait. knee injury, Wait. legacy of the Irish Wait. test, and this magnificent okay. young flanker. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Richie McCaw has a very nasty <laughs> cut above his left eye. No numbers. He's a proud Rochester. product of the Christchurch Rugby Club in Christchurch. One of their great products. He made 19 tackles in that test against Australia at Jade Stadium. And Harrison has cleaned up beautifully. But the Wallabies have just lost their way in this second half. Full marks to New Zealand. Here's Hallett. Mortlock there. Ball and all. Jack was also on hand. Mertens. Space here for Major. Ralph is out there. Latham across. June there first. Tana Umana read it superbly. Well, this is just building up the pressure on the Wallabies, putting the ball back to them and making them make the decision. Tune covers it well, gets to his feet, but it's just bundled out Rodeo style, like the Bull Riders at the Great Western Hotel, Rockhampton, where they go hard. Looked like a poor option for a moment, but it's proved to be a master stroke. Jack was there. This is Holler. Sharp the tackler, Robertson. New Zealand now playing with great confidence. Here's a kick for Howlett. Latham needs to take it. Howlett! Again, the bounce evades New Zealand for the second time in a few minutes. No, there's no advantage. Well, Knock clearly on black. John Mitchell half time has said Knock on black. this all black side. Let's use that 
high ball and they're using it all the time here in the second half they just keep tempering the line and andrew merton said that was 60s rugby where they bombed high into the in goal area well, he did it himself and nearly to great effect well new zealand has a very good replacement for mccoy in holland real tear away as the open side flanker a lot of concentration needed here what sorry wanting george gregan to feed the, the scrum the when it comes and together some of all will try and take this low but the referees come around that side <laughs> Both sides fighting for a small advantage here. This one he'll need to come straight together and stay up. Otherwise, there'll be a short arm penalty going up. That's better. No, that's not. So this is going to be the fourth restart. Johnny, I'm going to go on your call. No more. We're not going to stand you all night. This is on the edge. If someone can slide Young off on this side and go down again. Number one. Finally, Dave Get Hewitt back. is penalised. Keep it up, number one. Great scrumming by Patricio Noriega. He stood his ground and up. just bore downwards as the weight came on. Hewitt lost his feet, the penalty. Andre Watson had said, I've had enough of these repacks, I'm going to penalise something. Wallabies need a good clearance here from Matthew Burke. Get out of the pressure zone. So big Dave Hewitt, the loose head prop on this side. Okay. Wonderful reverse angle show. Hewitt just under pressure. On the gap, Black. Probably not completely his fault, but he Thank finished you. on the bottom. Harrison goes to the front. Sharp is there. All of his habits. Jeremy Paul now. Ran into Jack. Stephen Larkham on his left foot. Showing his dexterity and just 20 metres gained there for the Wallabies up towards the 10 metre line. It was excellent work from Nathan Sharp. All blacks all over him. Got the ball eventually. Had to fight for it. Fellas, hold the gap till the ball's oh. Short line out by the All Blacks. They've got some big men in there. Yeah, just got to lose, Jack probably the target here. And the big fellow did well again. Australia commit all their forwards. Let's go the big one. Thank you. Reuben Thorne has it at the back. This is it. Drive them across the field. It stops the forward momentum. Now they've got to regroup and come again. And Finnegan has pitched it. Now Australia has a chance. Gregan read it beautifully. Sharp. Almost Stay through on. the gap. He Marshall tried to the ball. Ahead. And Marshall pinched it. Alert play there by the scrum half. Again, Australia getting no continuity at all. They're peppering Chris Latham. Nathan Major again going over the top. That could be a turning point in the mentality of the Wallaby side, driving the All Blacks back from that, from that uh, rolling mall. Finnegan. Larkham goes to quick restart. No, no, no. I think Umanga went down on the loose ball, though. He read it. Holler, well, tackled by and Herbert. Feet, everybody. Now Robertson comes away. in, leaves it for Marshall. Drop goals on here for Major. They were looking for another three points, Me which could have put their lead out to six. And it was Major who sunk the Brumbies in the first round of the Super 12 this year with a dropped goal and an injury time to win that game. Very good. Wallabies have got to take the pressure off because the position they are on the field, it's just really Peter, distracting. Peter Marshall, blood 10. They can't do it gold. easily. 10 gold, Stephen blood. Larkham's head cut from the clash with George Number Gregan. 10. Now they're insisting on some cover. Oh, wait, don't worry. As, uh, Elton Flatley needs to be called into play. Where's, where's the sub? Well, he came on with just 30 seconds remaining at Jade Stadium in a... Flatley's been down the other end of the yeah, field I'm, warming I'm up. Gonna go. it's a blood I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I'll have to get him. He's still got his tracksuit on. Jonathan Kaplan, the touch judge on this side with a short back and sides. So Elton Flatley thrown into okay, this pressure up, cooker situation onto his 17th test. And we'll probably get to take the uh, rough unless Matt Burke has 
stepped up to the mark. Well, he's a very experienced young man. Elton Flatley made his test to do against Thank England you. back in okay, 1997. But Australia has been pinned down in its own territory for most of this second half. Major again. And that's the, reason why. that's the reason why they're going for the kick. Mortlock. Well, their kick and chase has been outstanding. That's Leighton going straight up the centre. Kefu and Young. But New Zealand has stolen a lot of Australia's ball at the breakdown. Flatley returns the New Zealand tactic. Mertens. No pressure on him from the Wallaby. Chases. Now Ralph. Hold up. Flatley in for the tackle. No hands now, no hands now. Advantage, seven. Penalty advantage. Seven playing the ball on the ground. Playing it out. George Smith. Spotted there by the referee. Advantage. Vantage. Fantastic car pass there from Justin Marshall. Vantage looks to be well and truly oh, over here, but he hasn't called it. Vantage over! He's like them. And a wasted opportunity for New Zealand. Good patience there from Latham to allow the ball come yeah, to come fine. over Thank the you. try line. The Thank 25. You, George Smith must watch his discipline. Now Richie McCaw is back to the touch line and he'll come back on. Okay. So it's still New Zealand ahead by 11 points to 8. They've got their noses in front here at Telstra Stadium. Owen Finnegan having some treatment. Time on, let's go. Here's the restart from Matthew Burke. Mertens now and Robertson fall underneath. Halfway line. Finnegan's hobbling. Mertens again. Straight to Latham. Jack is coming through. Got it. Let them off. Okay, play on. And Latham looking for the touchline and taking play to the halfway. Up three points. New Zealand will continue to apply the okay. pressure through the boot. So it comes down to the... The well, Wallabies no, getting no. good quality Six, ball to break out. And yep, it comes from trying up. to pinch a couple of line outs as Owen Finnegan leaves the field. On comes number 19, David Lyons. Well, you can see clearly that the All Blacks aren't really setting out to win this game. They want to pin the Wallabies down. They want to force them to make the play. And the Wallabies have got to break out. They've got to do something decisive quickly. Well, they're winning their own line-out ball convincingly now as Umunga is wrapped Advantage, up by Kefu. Dangerous tackle. And the referees found that as a dangerous tackle against Umunga. That's high. I don't care whether it's an inflection here. It's dangerous. It's not on. Go 10, please. Well, this is certainly kickable for Andrew Mertens, and he has go, he decided to go for the goal. Wallaby's being hammered here by Andre Watson. That time, Kefu, Uring, above the level of the shoulders. So he's our extra angle. 18 metres off centre. And a big carry of nearly 50 metres. Well, there's two strikers on the field. Andre Watson's held up play while uh, the security men move them off. Can't tell whether New Zealanders or Aussies. Well, this is a very it's unfortunate a situation. The All Black players just totally ignoring the two intruders. It's a distraction that Andrew Mertens doesn't need, but he's a really cool customer. And hopefully the offenders okay? are fine right? to the maximum. Okay, time on. For their intrusion, it doesn't need that. So Mertens. Just about 16 metres off the centre. 48 metre carry. 
And you talked of the distraction, Chris. In the end, it didn't help Andrew Mertens. 11-8, still a three-point advantage. Steve Larkham. And also... Okay, wait up. Rogers on the sideline. Time out. Trowling, ready to get on. Let him come. Still the Wallabies pinned in their 22. Incessant okay, dis oh, All-black defence, and they're just dropping the ball back every time. No, no, Latham's no, no. being uh, yeah, yeah, called out here, and Matt Rogers Thank may you. go to fullback. New Zealand have played to Latham, but okay, Australia needs some spark from the back now. Will that force a change in New Zealand tactics? Because this man is a very elusive counter-attacker. So, Andrew Mertens and Umanga. He's really asked questions of the Australian defence with his power. Somerville. Hands off, gold, hands off. New Zealand carting the ball upfield. Greg Somerville gets a second touch. Noriega arrives with Paul. No hands. Get on side, black five. He's Umanga. Cullen now into a bit of space. Gregan across. Let him go! Still hasn't gone into touch. Rogers there. Towards Gregan. He has it in hand here. And Larkham. He really wanted that one to go into touch. Caleb Ralph looking to create some space out wide. Matthew Burke. Coffee book around the ankles. On your feet, fellas, everybody. Major again, in behind Mortlock, clever kick, nasty bounce. Knock on there by New Zealand. It's a hard call, but oh, you don't want to get cold level. He cut the big whack there Thank and got himself nice back up. It's dramatic, can they just continue to the apply the screws, New Zealand? Up. Watch it, well placed kick again, terrible bounce for Sterling Mortlock. Scrambles round and then gets slammed here by K Caleb Ralph, it was Major. So it's still 11 points to 8 in favour of the All Blacks. Big Chris Jack. He's been a, a real titan in this New Zealand forward pack tonight. So Australia, unable to get out of their own territory unable to to get the hands on the ball and, and retain it seem to be hitting a brick wall at the moment i think they've, they've been a, a little bit cautious about andre watson how he's penalizing for hands at the breakdown not contestingly as vigorously as they were in the first half the all blacks having a saloon passage of getting the ball back so there's Ben Darwin and also Matt Cobain. Okay, okay thank you. Noriega to come off. I think Sharp also. There's Larkham. McCall was there. Chi Larkham lucky not to be penalised. Andre Watson thought about it. First one was here from the side, and everybody's going down there from the well, side. I don't think the Wallabies can argue about that one. Well, what Steve Larkham needed then as he went to ground was a Wallaby coming past him to take the pass from the ground. Didn't happen. I don't think they thought he was going to go to the line, but you've got to be prepared. Mordlock came through to support the pass. And unfortunately, it just draws them. All that pressure has just drawn them into foreign territory. Well, if you get isolated like that, you risk the consequences. Australia didn't have the support there quickly enough. And this is the easiest goal kick of the night. And all of this pressure applied by New Zealand is about to be rewarded on the scoreboard. This for a six-point advantage. So Andrew Mertens. Okay, his third them, penalty. Them. Let, let them come. Well, it's the first time that the Wallabies have seen the halfway line in a while as Ben Darwin and Matt Cobain come on as replacements. Well, Eddie Jones must feel as though he's got his, his hands cuffed at the moment. The Wallabies just powerless to, to break this stranglehold by the New Zealanders with their clever kicking game and their ability to hold on to the ball. 
McCaw. 30 metres out. Advantage number eight. <laughs> Time out. No, 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 no. Kepu's been caught again here. It's getting close to Sinbin territory. I've had him one before. Enough of number eight. That's it. Well, I thought that was a poor kickoff that went straight to Richie McCaw. Got the chance for the All Blacks to build up their rolling mall. Kefu tried to get in and stop it. And stopping it, he, he uh, caught the penalty. You'll probably see this play go to the air again. It's been very successful for them. They've got the short line out and take it forward. New Zealand winning their line out ball decisively at the back through Jack is Major and Howlett's. Larkin waiting for him. Now McCaw again. Inexhaustible Richie McCaw. Somerville. Marshall works it to the open side. Umanga with a big step off his right foot. Kefu couldn't put him to ground. That's McCaw in support. And now New Zealand with a head of steam, but Marshall went the wrong way. There was a knock on by McCaw. That's an interlock offside. But that kick. really was Black a poor Black option by him. Justin Marshall. Well, New Zealand had no, big numbers on, on the left. Here's the turnover. Kick to the game's demand. Australia must here. keep this ball in hand. Move it upfield. Use Rogers. Umanga. Fantastic run. Poor defence there from Matt Cobain. Shouldn't have got That's through either of those tackles. And they kept pouring through the gap. Ten missed tackles from the Australians this game. Six from New Zealand. Engage. So 15 Man. minutes remaining in the match. New Zealand ahead by I six. Both sides. Is the Bledisloe Cup now. heading Sorry? back across the Tasman? But, no, no, no. Tackle no, no. completion. Yeah, Something else. Pretty Something poor for the Australians against their normal standards. Well, they tackled so well in the first half. Thank you. But uh, New Zealand is the team who's who's gone up a couple of notches in the second. This is Burke into Mertens. Can't get isolated now. And Australia's lost a head lost in the it. tackle. Let's go. And trying to lay the ball back, Matt Burke lost it forward. It came forward off his leg. Nothing's going right for the Wallabies. They're under a lot of pressure. There's the ball. He tries to put it back and his knee kicks it forward. Well, there was a New Zealand hand in there, wasn't there? On the ground. And get the gap closer. His knee's taken it forward. Is that an offer? I don't think Engage. so. Okay. You can be rest assured Richie McCall will be at the... Uh, at the breakdown, forcing a, a turnover. And finally, Australia gets a bit of relief straight from Andre Watson. It's been one-way one traffic, traffic from the referee. For going straight over. Second half, Ruck and Mall, 27 to New Zealand, Make 17 to that that's the obvious. Wallabies. Richie McCaw bandaged up. Got okay. split in the first anyway. half now. It's a hard Matthew, game. Matthew Burke must get a go. good touch finder on this one. The referee is playing a huge part in this game, and I'm not sure either side are completely comfortable with it. Certainly the crowd isn't. So it's on the 10 metre line. And it's Australia's throw. One of the rare incursions into all black territory. But this is the time for Australia to step up. Well done by Cobain. Matthew Burke now. Robertson was there to pilfer. Gregan and Kefu. He's the man who sunk New Zealand last year at this ground. Matt Cobain. Inside the corner. This is more like it, Australia. Larkham. Almost through the gap. Marshall's there the in black. defense. Advantage. Australia has the advantage. advantage. Seven black playing the ball on the deck. But they want the try here. Last feet. Regan, he's eight metres out. Stephen Larkin and Herberts. Five metres to go for the Wallabies. A converted try would put them in the lead. McCaw trying to spoil. Larkin, Gregan. Tremendous defence on Lions. They've driven him back. Penalty number seven. Well, oh, that's great advantage if you're an Australian from Andre Watson. He gave him plenty of opportunity there. It's a scoring situation. It goes back now. Gregan has that choice Number again. Seven. They will probably the tackle, kick for touch. The ball the tackle. Try and force okay. the try from the line-out. Really good line-out win from Matt Cobain to keep, get this 
Whole movement going. Richie McCaw has the art Let's go. of coming from the wrong side when the All Blacks are under pressure. Now George Gregor is calling for a scrum here. He doesn't want the penalty. He wants a converted try. Australia hasn't been up this end of the field Watch in the second side. half. They're going to try and take advantage. They're not prepared to back their line out. It hasn't been working successfully for them. They need this to go well. It's a good scrum. Here's Larkin now. This is the place to attack from set piece. Advantage back. Oh, they've really stuffed it up. Matt Rogers was through unopposed if he held the ball, but it didn't go to him. No, 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 hands. So the composure just not there for Australia. Okay, Marshall's kick up. is a whopper. Tremendous kick from Justin Marshall going out on the 10 metre line and the pressure is off New Zealand. Well, plenty of time, still 11 minutes at least in this game to go. I might mention this at this stage, great curtain raiser here tonight at Tulsa Stadium. The New Zealand deaf rugby team beat the Australian deaf rugby team by 17 to 16. Great performance by both sides. So Rogers just had to hold on to that ball and he was over. Now Mortlock. Mortlock! Halfway line. Hands off! <laughs> Here's Gregan. David Lyons charging into McCaw. The Wallabies have gone up a gear here. Jeremy Paul. Let it play. Now they clean it out. Fourth phase for the Australians. And this defence is holding Lost firm. With me. Gregan to Herbert. Only Mortlock out here, but Herbert makes seven I'll or eight metres. Jeremy Paul with a pick and drive. Now Bill Lyons. Young. Gregan again to Larkham. Tune. Uh, slip, slip. Slipping over. Get last feet, last feet. Matt Cobain, they're going one out, the Australians in danger of a turnover here. Great defence from the All Blacks. They're meeting each man as he hits the line. He's Burke trying to step his way through. Larkham in for the clean out. Now there's a chance for the Wallabies here. Lions. Great pass there. Sterling Mortlock inside the corner. Paul. Herbert's outside. Uh, he's 15 fine. metres to go. Gregan and Larkham. He stepped through two tackles. Three. Larkham still going. Australia's chance. Last feet back. Five metres from the goal line. Jeremy Paul. New Zealand Lions. looking to turn Lions. it over. Last feet. Which way will Gregan go? That's Herbert. Breathtaking stuff here. A metre out. Gregan again. They go left. He's Rogers. <laughs> Matt Rogers has done it for Australia. The kick to put his side in front. 15 phases. This is the reason Matt Rogers signed the rugby union. He wanted to play in one of these Bledisloe Cup games. And here he is. He has scored the try. The important try of this game what great sensational work. ball security from the wallabies great work by jeremy paul who handled a number of times in this play it was great support play from the wallabies they've been asleep larkham step dodge weave got them close to the line and then the support came gregan the master blaster picked out the man rogers weave dodge oh wow, you good thing the zip zip man matt rogers has left them standing and now burke to put australia back in front less than eight to go straight as a diver it's hit the upright and back into the field of play no goal well eddie jones great sub putting rogers on but it's not over yet a one point Everybody match again how often up. can this happen Look at the try to Rogers wide. They had him covered, but they don't know enough about his play. So Matt Rogers now on his left foot, rifling that one into touch, but New Zealand with the line out. Matthew Burke missing a straightforward conversion line attempt. Out. He has one out line of four out. tonight. Three black. New Zealand three by black. a point. Well, Aaron, Aaron, made, Aaron Major, black. sorry, Buddha and Andrew Merton's both very Number good. Three black, Jane. Drop kickers. Listen, fellas. New Zealand will try and work it close, try and get that three no point. Silly penalties. Over. No silly penalties. Seven, no silly point, penalties, seven minutes remaining. Okay. 
you'll see the players, no this is no it's time to turn boys. over possession. Joe McDonnell on, Chris, for New Zealand. And a good move, no, 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 he's no, on no, for he's on the Somerville. Greg Somerville. Okay, time on. This is a time where you retain possession and work yourself into a scoring position, forcing an error from the opposition. Well, young Tom Willis has done very well with his line-out throwing. Keep it positive. Well, read again there by They've Chris Jack leg, number one. and uh, Reuben Thorne. Dave Hewitt, nice little dart from him. That's Willis. Number nine. A mistake by New Zealand. The ball. Justin Nyshaw holding on to one of the Wallaby players without the ball. Well, this is a handy penalty if there's ever been one. Number obstruction. He pulled the man back. He played on 11. Well, he got isolated a little bit and Marshall there taking Mordlock off the ball. It was obstruction in front of the ball. Burke needs this one to go into touch. And he's taken it over halfway. That's a good gain of nearly 40 metres by Matthew Burke. So Australia in New Zealand territory down by a point with six minutes to go. Marshall saying no penalties. This has to be good. It's another Bledisloe heart stopper here at the Olympic Stadium. Big drive from the Wallaby pack. Larkin wants it. Advantage. He's playing advantage. Advantage, the ruck was pulled down. Dan Herbert took it up. Larkin again. Still advantage, still advantage. Still playing advantage. Here's Rogers. He split them again. Brilliant play by Matt Rogers. More no, block no, now. No, 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 Gregan. Bill Young, first receiver. Charges into Reuben Thorne. Wallabies go again. Larkin. Smith. Out right now. Matthew Burke. That's fine. New Zealand defending Not for their lives lead. here and the Bledisloe Cup. Maintaining possession and composure. Jeremy Paul. Positive, fellas. Harrison comes in to clean out. So does Smith. Gregan. He's and on his feet. Penalised. How many goals must he have? Australia. Go, in possession there at the breakdown. Heartbreaker. I think Jeremy Paul knows he was guilty. He just tried to do a little bit too much there, lying on the ground, trying to have an arm in. Very good decision by Andre Watson. There was no ruck form. Paul was isolated. So in New Zealand, the crowd is 79 and a half thousand. 79,543. That's fine. 10 metre line. Well, the bladders they cupped up for grabs. New Zealand in front. Again, very accurate throwing from Willis. Nerves. Ice cool. He's McCall. No, he's not. Mertens now. Peppering the ball back yeah, downfield. Okay, this is Mortlock. You can see a bit of a channel here. He's run it back beautifully. Australia no needs to get into New Zealand's territory. No this is their chance. Here's Larkham. Herbert. Matthew Burke over halfway. No, 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 let it go now. Let it go there. Let it go. Gregan appealing to the referee. Larkham and this is Lyons. Well away. Australia keeping it close. Uh, it's back. And no, they no, lost no, it. No, and Marshall no, lost no, it. No, it was a knockback initially by Australia, who are back in possession. Cobain. Australia trying to work get it into it. Get out of it. Well, there's a professional oh, opportunity. Purpose. Professional the penalty scrum. there. Knock on. Time out. Number one, Dave Hewitt, was no, a listen, loiterer. Don't throw him by Oscars, please. That was too obvious. Very lucky he wasn't penalised. It's Australia trailing 13-14. And we have three to go. Yeah. <laughs> so it really is a exasperating for the big crowd. Nail-biting stuff here. <laughs> New Zealand deprived in the dying seconds of injury time last week. There's a crowd, a chance going up for all black. But the Wallabies have the scrum feed here. It's a real test of character for both sides. It's a test of nerve. Gregan on the 10-meter line. 
Steady, 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 steady. Okay, now. Can Matt Can Rogers weave some more magic? No, 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 there's no slipping. Thank you. Let's go. Come closer, number three. Engage. Okay, thank you. No, 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 no. I'm not going to guess. I'm not going to do a guess with. Yeah, that's the call, just to slip. Keep it up. Listen, guys, the scrum will work. We're not going to run the clock down. Let's go. The scrum will work. Dave Stewart closer. has moved closer. from loose head Engage. to tight head. Okay, let's go. So, just over two minutes remaining. Here's Gregan. They've created space here for Rogers. It was a loose pass. Not back, though. Mordlock has cleaned up well. Larkham. David Lyons into Umunga, who's getting involved in the heavy stuff. Larkham again. Herbert trying to step through. Ben Darwin arrives. Matt Cobain to the 10 metre line. There goes the ball on the ground. Australia holding possession. Less than two minutes remaining. They're protecting the ball well here. No hands, no hands. Let's go. That's fine. New Zealand told to let, let it go. go. They would have given a penalty away there. There's a great pass to Burke from Stephen Larkham. Okay, fellas. Cullen that's comes that's in for the right tackle. Down. New Zealand can't afford to concede a penalty here. Larkham again. Rogers. No hands, no hands. New Zealand's defence holding firm with one and a half to go. That's a ruck again. Are we going to see another last second try to break this deadlock? New Not Zealand, importantly, though, has... A one-point advantage. Not the way New Zealand's tackling at the moment. They've got to find a hole. Well, we saw New Zealand do this back. at Jade Stadium to hold out Australia. Wallabies just struggling Let's to make back. inroads. A minute to go. This is when a team who plays together for a long time. Larkham! This is Rogers. It came off the feet there of Kefu and into touch. Went back okay, onto a, uh, an all-black player and then into touch, so it's Wallaby Goal feed. Ball. Goal ball. They can, can the sustain it, but the, the defence of the all-blacks is superb. James, when it goes, you better call me as well. I might They've aimed up out. each occasion, and this only comes from the understanding of picking players that know each other under pressure. Okay. You happy? OK. James, did you get that? When the hooter goes, give me the call anyway. I won't hear it in here. James Apollos, did you get that? So Jeremy Paul. Australia's ball. Larkham now. And last disc chance. Dan Herbert wrapped up. They're That's inside the, the quarter. Use it the now. drop goal's on here for Australia. Lyons, Gregan, Paul. He's had a marvellous game. Hands Still Australia's in. ball. Advantage. 15. There's the penalty. 15 seconds to go. The penalty's on for Australia, so is the drop goal. There's no advantage. Here's the penalty, and it's all to the right boot of Matthew Burke. We are in injury time. The kick is 15 metres in from touch. This is shades of John Eels. Well, devastation at this stage for Reuben Thorne, and the hand was definitely in there. But this all to do, Matt Burke hasn't kicked as well tonight okay. as he would normally have done, but you wouldn't say he wouldn't kick this. He's a great performer for the Wallabies, as Eddie Jones looks on nervously. And Where, again, it's come down to the wire. Where's John Eels? <laughs> this is uh, Shades of Wellington in, here? in 2000. Oh, Eels yeah. kicked the winning penalty. Now Burke, who missed one from a similar spot here to convert Rogers' try can retain the Bledisloe Cup for his country. He's done it. The hoot is gone. The Bledisloe Cup remains on Australian soil and Matthew Burke is the hero.